tenants, uh, in some cases, they get the rent direct to pay yeah. their, uh, obviously pay over to the landlord. Yeah. And then of course they don't pay it over. Yeah. So then the landlord's in a difficult position, especially if that tenant happens to have a dependency issue um, or different uh, or difficult social problems. Um, does the, if the landlord then evict someone for non-payment, he can be tarnished as um, pushing someone out who then may end up homeless. Um, I would feel that the government could, if only they could give the councils more power to make payments direct to the landlord if there are issues with tenants. Well, in the pilots that we've had so far where the payment has gone to individuals, um, because it, so long as that's done sensitively and the timing, for instance, of payments has got right, we found that it hasn't led to a big increase in arrears that many people worried about beforehand. So oh, this has actually gone um, gone well. Um, of course, you've got to do it sensitively, and of course, a lot of this is also about uh, training and about financial uh, literacy as at the same time. Um, but that the change to make sure that the money goes through to individuals um, changes where responsibility lies and gives people responsibility for handling that cash, even if it comes into the account and goes out of the, the account on the same day. Uh, so that change is a big change, um, but the early evidence from where it's been piloted is that that has gone well, and we've got to make sure that we keep doing it sensitively so that it doesn't have the negative implications that you talk about.